Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Resultant Scout Selections here for Sunday, January 3rd. Before we get into today's play, today, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up giving out a play on one of the Sunday matchups between the Patriots and the Jets. So if you're not checking the video, you can do so. It should be the video right before this one. Before we get into today's play, today, a quick announcement. I'm aware that since I have been traveling for the last couple of days, that this is kind of a makeshift studio, so to speak. And I'm sorry if the audio, audio quality is not that great. Apologies there. But I'll be back in the normal uh, spot tomorrow, so the audio should be fixed by then. So apologies there. But anyway, uh, on with the show for today's play of the day. We're going to stick with the NFL. We're going to be looking at a player prop here in a matchup between a matchup that actually has a lot of implications for the division and for playoff spots. It's going to be between the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans. Now, of course, the Texans are out of pretty much everything. They don't even have their first-round pick. That's going to be a top-four pick. But Tennessee is still competing for the division title. They're still competing for a playoff spot. Lots still on the line for Tennessee. And for this matchup here, we're going to be looking at a player prop. We're going to be taking Derrick Henry over 120 after rushing yards, which, which is available on Fox Bet at minus 105, a time recording of 4.15 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like the over 120 and a half for the rushing yards. First of all, I know that that sounds like a huge number. I think we can all agree Derrick Henry is the one running back left in the league that you don't feel as bad about laying that big of a number. A couple reasons why. First of all, Derrick Henry already played against Houston so far this season, and in the one meeting he had 212 rushing yards, and Houston can't stop the run to save their lives. Houston so far this season is allowing 151.7 rushing yards per game, which is the second most in the entire league. Plus, they're also allowing 5.0 yards per carry, which is tied with Dallas for the worst in the league. So Houston can't stop the run at all. They have nothing to play for. And Tennessee is in a must-win game. You know they're going to feed Henry the Rock probably around 30 times if they need to. I think Henry should get a bunch of touches. You know, Houston's probably not going to be able to stop the run. They haven't been able to stop him this season. They haven't been able to stop any running back so far this season. And I simply think that Henry should get enough volume and get enough, I'd say, success in order to get past this uh, number. Plus, even if game flow ends up going well, that just leads to more carries for Henry. I doubt they're going to be benching him anytime soon because this game had, means so much to the Titans. They can still win the division, can still make the playoffs. So I expect Henry to get a serious amount of touches here. I think 120 and a half is a little bit too low. Plus, it is worth mentioning that Derrick Henry is also 223 yards away from 2,000. Now, I know the 223 yards and 120 and a half are nowhere near each other. But the reason why I bring it up is because of the fact that Titans coach Mike Vrabel last year actually was forcing extra touches for Henry just to try to get Henry to lead the league in rushing. There were reports that came out that he was getting updates from the offensive coordinator and the people in the booth just figuring out how many yards Henry had, where it was located in the league. So Vrabel's kind of known to keep track of some of these milestone stuff, uh, things. And I simply think that if Henry, who should get over 120 and a half, I don't want to say easily, but I think he will be able to get over it. There is a decent chance that because of the fact he's so close to 2K, that they might just keep him in for all four quarters and just try to see how many yards he can rack up to see if he can get to 2K. But either way, once again, just a quick uh, rundown. Titans need to win the game. It's a must-win game. Houston has nothing to play for. Houston's awful against the run, uh, arguably the worst rush defense in the entire league. And Derrick Henry, of course, had 212 yards against them in the first meeting. And he's probably the best pure running back, non-pass catcher back in the entire league. So for that reason, uh, the play of the day here for Sunday, January 3rd, is going to be on Derrick Henry. Over 129 for rushing yards, which is available on Fox at a minus 105. That's been some of Scott's selections. Go to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.